How many of you in our studio audience saw Game of Thrones last night? Uh, yeah. More than 19 million Americans gathered around their televisions last night. It was the most watched episode of anything ever for HBO, ahead of The Sopranos, even ahead of the season finale of Arliss. This was a big, big deal. <laughs> In the end, Westeros was left with a system of government not unlike our own, one in which a leader is chosen not by birthright, but instead by three women and ten white guys. And <laughs> there was none of the trademark nudity last, unless you count me watching at home. There was no nudity. <laughs> but we did get to see a dragon melt furniture, which was a first. A lot of Americans <laughs> skipped work today, for real. A lot of people skipped work today because they were watching the finale last night, which is. I mean, the show is over at 10.30. It's, <laughs> if staying up until 10.30 makes you so tired you can't go to work, you're either too old to have a job or too young to be watching this show. It's, <laughs> for me, the biggest takeaway was that Jon Snow is a terrible boyfriend, maybe the worst boyfriend ever. <laughs> also, nobody knows what's west of Westeros. I mean, even the people who live on the border of Westeros never said, hey, let's go see what's over there. <laughs> I'm bummed it's over, though. What a great show this was. Unfortunately, a uh, good deal of the focus today is not on that. It's on a dumb little mistake. You really would have to be a jewelry repairman to notice. You know how a couple of weeks ago they accidentally left the Starbucks cup in the scene? HBO said it wasn't, but it was. Well, last night... <laughs> Last night, they had not one but two beverage-related mishaps. Now, if you look very closely, you can see a water bottle right there behind <laughs> Sam Tarley's foot. It seems to be a bottle of Poland Spring water, too. <laughs> Winter's coming and Poland has sprung. But then, and then another water bottle, this water bottle, if you, you can see there, is behind the leg of Sir Davos. And, yep, yeah, okay, and... <laughs> I guess they like to stay hydrated, so we had two unwanted bottles of water, and then there was this. Did you bring any wine? Oh, yeah! No. The Kool-Aid man. You'd think that would be something they would... And, of course, people were very fired up after the show. People were very, very upset online because, of course, no one's ever happy about it, regardless of what you thought of the final episode. This is one of the best shows of all time. For eight seasons of great shows. This is like having a fantastic meal, five courses, everything's excellent, and dessert comes, and you're upset because there are no shaved almonds on top of your banana cream pie. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Nerds today have no idea how good they have it. <laughs> Every movie is now for them. I had one Batman until I was 22 years old. <laughs> and he fought a rubber shark in the movie they made, okay? So everyone relax. In six weeks, Spider-Man will be here and it'll be, all be fine. The big winner last night was Bran Stark, who was chosen to rule over the Six Kingdoms. I loved how... <laughs> this, to me, was the best. Right before Bran was voted king, his sister took a second to remind everyone he can't have sex. <laughs> right, just, Bran, I didn't know this, was actually the odds-on favorite to become ruler of Westeros. This is from Odd Shark. He was a heavy favorite, followed by Sansa, Tyrion, and then Jon Snow. I bet a uh, hundred bucks on Pete Buttigieg, but he did not... <laughs> but even the president weighed in on, on this. He wrote, Bran is broken and I alone can fix it. <laughs> president Trump... <laughs> we made that up. I feel like I have to clarify, which is... <laughs> which is crazy on its own, but... That was us being crazy, not him being crazy. If you like that video, click the subscribe button, but only if you're ready for commitment.